at the MCG and I brought friend of the show, but today, enemy of the show, <laughs> enemy of the channel, Georgia Patterson. Usually dons a uh, D scarf for me, but she still maintains she's a Pi supporter. It's a family. It's in the, my guns. We're both football experts, but you're probably more of an expert than me. Who's, who's going to win? Uh, pies by nine. I'd almost take that result if I had to. Um, what? I reckon they'll be close because they're both shit. <laughs> they'll get up. Pies get up. will get up. Go to the pies. <laughs> I'm going to tip the D's by 28. What? Upset, upset, mate. Um, we got nothing to play for, but surely we can pull one more win out of the bag. Potentially. It is that cold, it's not funny. Um, yeah, I don't know. Hopefully we just... I, I want to see competitive effort. And I want to see a win. I want to see a flipper win. It's it's a bit greasy out there, a bit wet, a bit cold, but hopefully a bait and game. Go D's. Go D's, here we go. There's about 14 people here. Darn Gawney. Great bounce. Gussie Brayshaw running around with that out his helmet on. And he's got a little slick mullet type haircut so hopefully a helmet free Gussie can uh, get him a few touches of the pill. He started pretty well. They've been pressing for the start of this whole game, the Pies, but somehow we've worked it down with a nice passage of play and Bailey Fritch, Miss it. our best key forward, has hit the post. Oh. <laughs> Ten minutes into this first turn, the Pies have been all over us. They're having trouble with the set shots, the D's boys. The wind is causing some issues, but track lines up from 40. We're gonna get it. He's missed again. Oh. Stephen May with a brilliant smother on the goal line, and now we've gone up the other end of Petrarca for like his third shot on goal in the first term. Show off in front of your mate, is Benny Simmons. The wind too much. Finally, the first goal of the game. It's another point. Wow. Gusty Bray has the helmet back on, so. Might have left it at home, mum's gone in the car, driven all the way back out to the burbs to get it, but uh, can confirm the red and blue helmet is back on his skull. Harrison the Goat Petty has marked top of the goal square. He'll kick from 20 metres out. We're 25 minutes into the first term and this could potentially be the first goal. Can pet dog. Mitch, the Goat, Mitch, Harrison, Mitch, plug Mitch, a Petty. Mitch, Mitch. Get around him, get around him. Quarter time here at the G and Harrison Petty's snag is the only goal for the entire quarter. The D's are up 1-4-10 to the Pies 0-5-5. Close one. We need more goals, that's what I reckon. I think it's a bit windy. It is, it's but slippery. The D's goal kicking has been awful all year, so it may not be the wind. I think it's just... Yeah, it's probably just our kicking. Do we need to relocate because it's freezing yeah, up here? Freezing. All right, well... All right, yeah, let's go down the bottom. Woo. Give us up. Second quarter about to start. We've relocated because it's minus four degrees up in the third tier. So hopefully the sun can come out and we can uh, get amongst it. But a great start by the D's. Need to keep it up. Gussie Brayshaw has a free from 15. He's going to line up and hopefully keep the first and the second. I reckon he'll centre it actually. I don't think he's going to make distance. He's had the shot. He's had the shot. Yes. D skip out to a two goal lead. Oh, one of the Werribee greats, Brody Meyer check lining up to give the Pies two in a minute here in the second term. I think we have the most scoreless quarters for the year in the AFL. It's another second term where we just let Collingwood kick four in a row and we haven't put one on the board. 20 second minutes in. It's just such a waste. We had the lead. We just give it away way too easily. It's, it's absolutely disgraceful. I'm happy. <laughs> Half time here at the G and the Pies just did as they pleased in that second quarter. They are up by 18 points. They kicked five unanswered goals. Just so boring. Like just so, I don't know, so it's just boring. When that happens, when a team just kicks five goals for a quarter and you kick none, it just makes you question while you're here. But we are here and 
we got to enjoy it. Well, you're enjoying it. Yeah, it's good. But, um, it's yeah. not when you're winning. I wouldn't know what that's like. <laughs> Second half is about to get underway. Come on, D, show some positives. I want to see some running carry from Oscar Baker. I want to see some snags from Patrack. Let's uh, let's take it up to him. Come on, boys. So Marco for seven in a row for the buys. How does that happen? Like, I don't reckon. Any times this year we've kicked seven in a row, but consistently we just let teams run all over us. It's just so hopeless at the moment. Like I know we got Harrison Petty and Bailey Fritch as our key forwards, and I know I don't know we got your Oscar Bakers and your Kyle Dunkley's roaming around, but where I don't know. There's no brand. We had a brand last year that was exciting to come and watch. Like there's no. Just, oh, I don't know. number 44 is, is one of the all-time great losers. Cheeky couple of knees in the back of Fritter's back when he was on the ground. What an absolute hero. Kick this, Fritter, please. Stick it up there. Three quarter time here at the G. The D's trailed by 36. In that quarter, they kicked four goals to one. In the quarter before, they kicked six goals to none. So that's 10 goals to one in two quarters of football. That is insipid. That is boring. And that's the sort of stuff that makes you want to sign up for a 20th consecutive year of a member, isn't it? <laughs> Absolutely. Might reconsider that to be honest. No, I won't. I'll sign you up for a pies membership. No. Don't <laughs> what do you mean, black and white? Don't be silly. <laughs> um, we're playing Collingwood's VFL team. And we're playing so bad. Oh. Oh. Uh, Petrarca's playing well. He's going to have a good year next year. And our back line's going to be good because May and Lever are that good. And I suppose Harrison Petty and Fritter are doing alright down forward, but one more quarter to go and I can go for a long walk off a short pier. Go pies. It just got as dark as it gets. <laughs> it's so cute. Looks like it's just about to urinate down. But we'll stick it out for a turn. Not with my hair in the room. <laughs> I check. This'll this will really havoc the D's come back. It is just about to piss down. Oh my god. Come on, Hunty! Great passage of play. And he's kicked it. Go, Dees! We're not quite under the Mac Fox drip line. We're still getting wet. It is absolutely freezing. It is minus four degrees. Back of my chair is getting absolutely cannoned into. Who's the perpetrator? I don't think I've been this cold in my life. It's gonna start snowing in a second. Yay! <laughs> That's not a good thing. <laughs> Gordy, come on, big car. Good last quarter. I can kick like three or four in a row. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why do we do it? Why do we do it? Because we love the game. <laughs> now we hate it. Now we love it. Do you know the song? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go and get into a warm heated car. The D suck. Let's go home. That's as cold as it gets here at the G. Saturday Arvo footy. I need an absolute beveroony to get me over that heartbreaking loss. Once again, pretty insipid for three quarters and only lost by, what, two or three goals. So, I don't know, it's, it's, it's mind boggling. Like, 
we're playing as uninspiring as you can play and we're still grinding out two or three goal losses. We're not getting blown out of the water, but anyway, that's a that's a matter for another day because I'm gonna Pies are too good really. That's just, well that's just the fact that's just the fact that the VFL just... Pies team is just too good. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to wrap it up here because I just want to get into the car and go home. g Pat, thanks for joining no me. Worries. Pleasure. Um, I might have to grab that pie scarf and get around your team. <laughs> what do you mean, Black like, oh. <laughs> Um But yeah, I appreciate all the support. I appreciate everyone who watched and I'll see you all very soon. Bye. Bye.